two different news from two different parts of the world but they both have similarity and a very important piece of observation for all the Biotechnica subscribers. Well, first of all, let me thank all of you for being a part of Biotechnica's universe. It means a lot for knowing that someone is out there waiting for our videos and thank you so much for all the feedback. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how things are changing and uh, I'm here to tell you about two different news which is going to boost your employability in the industry but at the same time will help you strategize better. This morning itself I wrote a quotation which says that results are a proof that strategies were implemented, right? So the right strategy is what is going to take you to results, okay? I'm going to not use any complicated jargon, simple English to help you understand what's going to happen, what's already happening and how can you take advantage of this. Let me start with India first. Of course, India will always come first. So in India, there is a news that the semi-glutide, which is the anti-obesity drug, the it was extremely expensive so far. And Dr. Reddy's has got a approval to produce a biosimilar of this drug, right? So it looks like in future, we don't have to go to the gym. We can just take the semi-glutide. But jokes apart, looks like this is a game changer because if Dr. Reddy's is going to launch this particular drug into the market, this will lead to huge amount of employability in Hyderabad or maybe elsewhere, wherever Dr. Reddy decides to set up shop because Dr. Reddy is launching this affordable generic version of the global weight loss drug semiglutide, which is also known as Ozempic or Vigovi. Now, this particular drug was earlier used for diabetes. Now, recently it has been found that it helps in obesity. It uses the same GLP-1 receptor agonist mechanism, it reduces the appetite, slow slows down the digestion and balances the blood sugar to improve weight loss. And that is a good news. And now this, this particular medicine will be cheaper. So, of course, common general people can also consume and become thinner and stronger, right? Well, having said that, now this means a lot of employability will be generated by Dr. Reddy's. But my question to you is by listening this particular news, can you do something? Well, uh, you can strategize for such jobs, maybe the wet lab or dry lab, formulation development, uh, QA, QC, uh, clinical research, all of that. But the question to be asked here is, can you create something like semi-glutide in the future? Like you are just a one man army, like I am in front of my audience, the camera, all of you. So my question to you is, can you or I create semi-glutide or something like that in the future, right? Why big corporations and pharmaceutical companies can do that, right? Now, that is where we are going to ask this critical question and I would like to divert your attention now to the next aspect and that is Google's Gemma AI for cancer therapy discovery. So Google, of course, we all know Google, has been always after solving tough problems and uh, tougher the problem, bigger and grander the solution Google comes up with. The biggest problem humanity faces today is cancer. So Google and Yale University researchers created an advanced AI called as Gemma 27B to help discover new cancer therapies by understanding how tumor cells will interact with the immune cells. Now there are two types of tumor cells. One is a tumor cell which can be easily recognized by the regular uh, immune system and it can be killed. But there are some cancer tumors which cannot be detected by our immune system. So what they did is they created this AI and asked the AI, can you tell us which particular drug can solve this problem? Right? So most tumors are actually hiding from the immune system. That's what they are called as cold tumor. And uh, how can you make a cold tumor hot? That's what, that was the question asked to this AI. So the AI was actually trained on a single cell data in two environments, with one with immune influence, another was without immune influence, to find the drug that specifically boosts the immune response. And to the surprise of researchers, they came up with more than 30 to 40 solutions and they found a potential combo that was cell metasertib plus low-dose interferon and made a tumor cell show signals 
for or rather i would i should say antigens for immune cells to detect now this is a combination of ai immunology and uh, cancer oncology uh, studies right these are studies and that is where uh, early stage results show that this particular drug is capable and now when they used it against in in the wet lab also they found that yes it is applicable and now they're going ahead for clinical trials so this model developed by google deep mind plus yale university reflects that how data sets and code can be utilized to solve bigger problems like cancer now my question to you is first news i told you about dr reddy's semi-glutide the second i told you is google solving oncology problem let me know in the comment section which one excites you the most but let me tell you one thing both are big problems obesity is like cancer actually because everybody has a pot belly nowadays you see anybody in modern india or modern usa everywhere you'll see a pot belly as well as specs right so why why do we see that because of nutrition right because of excessive uh, carbohydrate and fat consumption and at the same time uh, the lifestyle and of course uh, nutrition so how can we solve it using ai that's the question to be asked so somebody created semaglutide and dr reddy's is creating it by a similar okay that's a great news but what if you using ai could create the next anti obesity drug using ai and in biology just like how google has done you could do it now you'll be like i don't have access to google's ai right the truth is you do have you don't have the expertise to know how to resource it or how to find it out right so let me put it this way the first step of getting into any of these whether it is a production of a biosimilar or whether it is designing a new medicine or a drug using ai or uh, using ai to make a particular uh, problem in the body be more visible to the immune system right which is sounding more uh, potential let me know in the comment section but according to me the idea which google has come up with can be implemented for multiple disease right so what if you could do that but you need data you need ai but it is all in front of you so all i have to tell you here is if you learn how to code and use ai ml just like how i also learned then you can create ai ml approaches novel approaches to solve problems just like google researchers did see what is difference between you and a google researcher is access to data access to research papers access to approaches but thanks to internet thanks to biotechnica you can learn ai ml okay the next batch is starting from 31st of october and then you can implement that in your research and you can learn better you can do great things so my question to you is what stops you in my lifetime i have learned this that if we solve simple problems we don't grow we have to solve tougher problems but at the same time we have to avoid costly mistakes and at the same time we have to have access to the right information you know so when it was like when i was in a very small city i didn't have access to information but now we all have even a tier 4 or tier 3 city has internet right so information is just one click away one google search away but now the question is strategy how can you utilize this information which i gave you today to strategize to become better in your career now if you have a strategic mind if you have a critic critical mind you can analyze that okay i have these breadcrumbs i have these hints that ai is growing so is bioinformatics and there are new approaches like i can create a ai model with the data which is available across the world okay there are a lot of free data available healthcare data and you can design a ai to which you can you can only ask that okay there is a problem called xyz which medicine i can use or which uh, particular drug can be used in a combination and maybe the ai gives you something you go ahead and research on that you come up with the, some research paper and you publish it that's amazing right so to create the next semaglutide the answer is it will happen through ai and the next approach to solve cancer it's already happening through ai the next approach to solve hiv aids it's going to be ai right so it can be applied to multiple diseases where immune visibility matters that is viral infections or autoimmune conditions and to mind it comes like there are millions of autoimmune uh, diseases and viral infections which you can avoid if you learn ai right so you will not just earn a lot of money you your learning of today will save so many lives of the future right so the 
person sitting on the other side i'm asking you what stops you go ahead chat with me learn ai ml the details are given in the comment section in the description of this video you can learn it and who knows you might be employed by google or uh, meta or such companies who are researching on bigger problems when you try to solve tougher problems that's where your mental capacity improves and a bigger or a better mental or stronger mental capacity of is, of today is going to solve bigger problems of the future and you are capable of that so stop underestimating yourself come learn ai ml with biotechnica and let's create the next version of semiglutide through the computer all the best